Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a two-parter video, so both parts are live on the channel now. But this is part one of my character organization setup. And as you can see, I have all my character stickers in these accordion files. I find them really useful just to be able to like go through my collection and, stick and pick things out, especially when I'm filming. Um, I bought them four years ago from Kmart but uh, in Australia. But I bought a new one that pretty much matches from Amazon. I just looked up um, receipts or coupons, accordions. And it has 12 slots instead of the usual 6 like my other 4 do. So I was able to expand my um, categories a lot more. So there I just planned out my new categories. What I was adding and what um, order I was going to do them in. And then I decided... Um, I should say I started filming this while I was in the middle of organizing. I was like, I should film this. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat. She's running around right now. Um, but she's very hyper. And you might hear her meow. But, <laughs> um, but I was organizing them already. So I thought I should just turn my, my camera on and start filming this. So this is a very chill video. And there is a part of me talking. When we start the D-stash... Um, so we'll go through the entire collection with you, which is why it is a two-parter video because it ended up being an hour long. And I thought it might be easier for you guys if it was more digestible. So you can watch the second video whenever you want. Um, but first, I took out all of my foil stickers and I have two foil um, albums that I'm using from Simply Gilded. This one has all my sort of Crafts by Towie style Icons, they have white backgrounds, they have detailed um, designs, just showing off my coffee here. And I'm going to listen to some Disney music. Isn't it weird? It's She's called Viana here, even though the lyrics are English. She's Viana. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but this also includes some Sadie stickers, stickers that I have, as well as um, my planning world ones. So I'm putting them all in these because... I. I don't like having like tiny sheets throughout my accordions. They get a bit fussy and then also it protects the foil in the long run. And these planning well stickers just fit perfectly. And then in my second album, I am putting my more like clear or solid um, uh, icons as you can see here, as well as my like mini icons and little food decos, that kind of foil icon is what I'm putting in here. And then the back I just have some um, of those foiled half boxes on premium matte from Scribble Prince Co. So that's how I'm sort of separating them. These are the ones I tried to pre-separate, but throughout the um, de-stash process, I will find more. <laughs> so what I do is I label my tabs using these fancy labels from Scribble Prince Co. I still have a ton of old multicolor. And luckily I had this set of oh my god my cat <laughs> she's going nuts um <laughs> running around the apartment but I, I just like the way they look with the handwritten label you'll see later on in my collection i do actually have the printed labels that um scribble prince co made for organization but they aren't quite um the categories my gosh that i use i'm sorry if you can hear this noise i'm not sure if you can <laughs> Um, and then I also don't have all the categories written out here. I kind of figure everything out as I go, but I did do a big major plan. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking each lot out in the sort of um, order that I've written my new um, system to be out. And I just, so I'm checking there and I have one that's actually that I wanted to put in, but it's in another one. So then I'm adding it to the pile. I'm just piling them up upside down. I'm going to turn them right side up and I'm going to organize them that way. Um, but yes, so that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I should have done this voiceover earlier because I did this uh, a week ago maybe. And I've already forgotten everything I was supposed to talk about. Now, we'll probably mention in the talk through section that I should have mentioned something. <laughs> I don't remember what it was because I can't be bothered watching it. But you know how it is. 
So I'm just doing that. Um, yeah, I just really find this therapeutic. And here I start going through stuff because a couple of sections I am splitting up. So I had relationships, which included like friends and family as well as my partner, Luck. I decided I wanted to split those two up, so now I just have a lock section. And I'm also splitting up my moods. Now, you might think some of my mood selections are a bit odd, like I put kiss my butt in positive. But that's because I'm usually like, they're kind of more sassy, and I kind of feel like more positive being sassy like that um, than I do like angry or upset. So that's kind of how I did it. I did... Um, and I only made room for mood positive and mood negative, and I forgot about my emojis, which I cut a lot of, so I'm just adding that to the list. I got a lot of moods, and obviously, just like Andrea, I have way more like negative moods than positives, um, but I feel like they're just more descriptive and like different from each other than the positive ones. But that's why I kind of put like kiss my butt and like heck em and um, I also put in, um, Bok Bok, you know, from the Crazy Rich Asians. Um, I forgot to put workout all together. Oopsies. <laughs> Shows how much I work out. Um, but I put those into positive because they're more like, yeah, in your face, like spiteful pettiness, <laughs> which I find positive in my life. So here I am. I have a license section, which was... It's like a, it was a mix of Disney and a mix of other licensed characters and stuff. So I decided to split those up. So I just have the Disney section and a um, random license one. So I'm making my big piles and we're about to do a talk through. But I'm going to take off all my old tabs, which these stickers actually come off really cleanly. Um, yeah, so it looks great. And I'm just going to put all my new tabs in and we will start the D stash. I will do a little bit of a talk through just to sort of like talk about my mindset about destashing, And then we'll get into the big video, which um, is going through the whole collection and I'll do some more voiceover. But yeah, that's all the stickers. And then we'll get into part two at the end. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I thought this might be a good time to start talking. Uh, but I'm going to start putting the stickers back in, but I don't want to put everything back in, you know. Um, yeah, I want to sort through my stickers and de-stash some stuff. So, um, first of all, we've got Payday here, which I'm not really big in the color scripts anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I still love these, and I should get a second one. Um, yeah, and I still love both of these, see? Okay, maybe not these ones so much. Most of them say paid my money, so I think the, that sheet is done for me. So I need more payday <laughs> um, icons, but we'll get there. So coffee. Um, I probably won't use those colors. Because um, I bought all new um, Happy Blue Tree ones, and I mostly use like the blue, pink, and purples. I need the yellow and the brown. I think I'm going to get rid of that whole one and just keep the big new sheets that I have. Um, and what I do is I cut all the sheets so you can still see the tabs. Because I'm going to keep these new Bare Necessities ones. I don't know if I should put that into seasonal because they're like bunnies. Mm -hmm. I might put those into seasonal. Um, we have these Coffee Monday ones. I love, love Shira, and, um, well, I love Shira, and uh, she doesn't have a store anymore, but I'm not as keen on these because I usually don't have a cold, a hot coffee. Um, I love Andrea, and I drew these coffee cups, which I was like, oh my god, uh, but I feel like they're too small for me, and I'm not really big into the long, thin strip. It gets lost in here, so I'm gonna get rid of those. And I love Denise as well. Like, okay, so everything I'm just stashing. I bought these for a reason. I love them. But, you know, things change or things don't exactly work out for your planning style. So sometimes they're not worth hanging on to and, like, cluttering up all the rest of your stickers. And it makes it harder to use them. So I bought all these stickers because I love them. 
Um, these Cuffing Mondays didn't really work out for me. I preferred... I actually loved her older script, although this is really cute too. But I'm not really into the white background scripts anymore. So I'm getting rid of those. I've been slowly working on these ones <laughs> from an old SBC Tool Tuesday. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. So I think I'm gonna still keep them around. These are the um, cat copies from Kina Prince. They are hot copy, but I just I have to keep these. I love them. <laughs> More bare necessities adorableness. I know I should probably put this one into drinks, but I think it works for coffee too. I think it's too cute. See, I love Paper Milk's coffees. See, I keep this one. I'm not huge on these, but the coffee pot I love. And I wish I had a whole sheet of just these coffee pots because they are the best, and that's the kind of coffee I have. Um, I still love these though, even though I think these bunnies are more usable year round. Depends on the spread. Of course, these new ice coffees. I love these cat ones, but the coffee icon is so huge. So I think I'm going to be stash. And should this go into Disney? No, sometimes I use them. I haven't used it yet, but... See, um... I didn't draw these ones, but I do enjoy them. And I like how they're a bit bigger. I've used a lot of them. I think I'm going to get rid of them. I oh, know they might be good with Starbucks um, runs. And then, oh, these are pies. So they're supposed to be the next section. <laughs> that is coffee. The next section is dessert. As you would have heard me say in my, um, as I should have said in my uh, um, voiceover in the previous sections, um, I put all my food into another thing, into one of these. So I decided it's pretty much full, so that's why I have a food extra section, but then also desserts um, are separate. So I have like these pies, which yes, they're new. I still really love these, and you never know when they might come up. Cafe food is cute. I haven't used it so much this year, but you know. <laughs> Chocolate cake, fairy waffles, donut boards. I'm not really into these popsicles that much, so I might desash them. Do all these tiny donuts. Um, no need both ice creams. One was from the um, school print school. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them anyway. <laughs> we have cakes, and then we have two ice creams from paper and milk, and but not uh, pancakes, and then we have bubble waffles. I'm gonna keep all them. I don't have any food extra right now, but just in case. Uh, I get new food ones in and I can move them around. Then we have drinks. So this is like bubble tea or tea or alcohol or whatever. Anything that's not coffee. So you have these wine ones. I don't drink as much wine anymore so I might get rid of that. These milks are adorable. The bubble tea. I don't think I need the scripts anymore though. Um, I'll keep that wine time because it's useful. Keep these bubble teas together. We have more like juices. And these milks are adorable too. We have a strawberry lemonade. Um, I think I'm going to read that wine one. I think I'm going to read these bubble tea ones because they're a bit too big and the colors don't always go with my stuff. So hot chocolate. I don't use the beers ones as much, but. I like sometimes use them to mug cider. Let me get rid of those two. Those are really big bubble teas as well. Little cocktail glasses. Beer o'clock. These bubble tea ones. <clears throat> I got a few beer ones. I just use them to mug cider. These are a bit sticky. Um, a little bit more bubble tea left. Uh, big bubble teas from Happy Glue Tree. I might get rid of this one. And I'll keep that one. Because I feel like the red wine could be used for like cherry beer and then um, the white wine could be used for cider. That's my thinking. Next we have cooking. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that. Cooking includes baking. 
Love those. We use a couple, but I think they're a bit too big these days, so they're out they go. Cooking. These are super ancient cup. Uh, I was gonna say something bad there. <laughs> American School and Crock Pots. We call them slow cookers. Um, like Crock Pot is the brand. It's like saying Kleenex. <laughs> it's like saying Kleenex, which is funny. Um, but I'm going to keep them because we might get a slow cooker in the future. We don't have one right now, but we used to. Barbecue. I think I'm going to put this in seasonal because I don't really barbecue. Uh, I could do that with Celeste just because I feel like the activities aren't as bold. Of course, keep all them. This is actually holiday baking, but I thought the colors went anytime. Uh, I do like the little chef hat Celeste. Some more cooking things there. Been working on these foxes. It's hard when they're green. <laughs> and then I really do like these pots from Happy Blue Tree. So that is cooking, and that is the first accordion file. Super good. I just, yeah, I really didn't want anything in the front of these anymore, so I'm excited. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do the rest talking through. I'm going to do the rest of voiceover and sped up. But let's get back into it. And a voiceover Jess is back. Um, so the video is so long and split into two because I was going through the footage and I made it like four times fast going through this. But I'm actually pretty, um, I've really learned, especially since moving overseas, that when I do stash, I just, I just do it. <laughs> and I'm pretty ruthless um, and brutal. But I find that I went through the stickers actually pretty fast in a normal time. Um, so I decided to keep it normal because I, I feel like sometimes when you do things full time speed, it gets a little headachey, and sometimes you just want to look at the stickers. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I do like that. So yeah, so I kept it kind of normal so you can kind of just chill, watch this, and uh, look at my collection. Um, so yeah, so first of all, we're going through a laptops and I'm just getting rid of anything that I'm not really using. Um, I've become pretty selective with laptops these days. And there's just some that I'm just not pulling for anymore. <laughs> and the funny thing about watching back this footage is there's actually a few things that I look at. I'm like, why didn't I um, be sexualist? <laughs> Uh, so I can always go back and do more de-stashing in the future, you know. Um, but as I said in the talk-through part, it's not that I don't like these stickers anymore. It's just that they're not really working for me anymore. You get what I mean? Um, yeah, I bought them for a reason. Uh, yeah, so I... And once again, I'm just getting rid of some... There's also some... Some of it's also a practical thing of what the sticker sheets are shaped like. There's also some things that were in different categories that I would put in now. So I'm just putting them to the side and we will put them away properly in the next video. And I didn't originally plan this video to be two parts, so it's going to be pretty abrupt in both sections. But I think that'll be okay. So here's my art section and as you would guess, I got a butt ton of things in here. I got just like pens and pencils and all sorts. And I don't just do um, my clip art art. I like to also keep some stuff for sketching and things. So I have a, a bit wider um, selection. But I kind of just got rid of some of these shop owner ones. And I also got rid of these, um, as cute as they are, I got these rid of these Etsy ones because I shut down my Etsy permanently. Um, I was considering still keeping it open, you know, but I found like I haven't really needed it. Plus, when I was doing all my tax stuff, the tax office told me um, with Shopify, I only need to report um, VAT taxes for um, my sales in Finland at the moment because I don't, because America is fine. That's where the majority of my sales are from. And then but I would have to report taxes every month for Etsy because they are headquartered in Ireland for tax reasons. So they're European business. So technically, 
they're selling me their service and I'm selling them my service by selling on them. So I would have to um, report all the money that they sent me, even though they are the ones that, like, do the VAT and remit it, but I would still have to report the income that I made from them. And it was really confusing how I do how I would do that on the returns form every month. I, I couldn't figure it out even though I was watching videos about it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to close my Etsy. Because <laughs> when it comes to taxes, why, why make it more difficult for yourself? But yeah, that's a little business secret there. <laughs> that's why it's closed. And honestly, it was kind of annoying doing two lots of listings. Um, because Etsy, you could only have zip files as big as 20 megabytes each. And you could only upload five per listing. So, and I can only do like one zip file at all for my um, Shopify site. So I have to make completely separate zip files and folders and blah. So now I only have to do the one and I don't have to limit myself at how big my art sets are anymore either. So that's nice. I don't have to make my papers super small in quality because they need to fit into Etsy. <laughs> So yeah, I'm really enjoying just having the one shop. I'm sorry, some of this will be out of focus because of the autofocus, but you get the gist. This is my planning section, and I do have a planning and a filming, and they're kind of different that planning is like literally, like there are planners, and there's printing like for inserts, and there's like pens, and crafting, um, organizing stickers, so sticker stuff as well. Whereas filming has like cameras and um, like literally filming stuff. Really they could both be um, used because a lot of my planning I do film. Uh, but, you know, as you can see here, just like everything going to the side, getting de-stashed. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm I'm not really doing... I'm not doing giveaways for my de-stash because I know people ask if they can be sent it. Um, but I, I've sent one thing from the finished post and I don't know if it's turned up yet or not, so I don't know how it'll work, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not really confident mailing stuff out here yet. Um, I'm just de a bunch of, like, life planners and stuff since I'm not using those anymore. And I just have some new stuff at the top. So that's my little planning section all worked out. So next, we'll, so here you'll see my filming things. So I mostly have cameras and like YouTube buttons and specific um, recording ones. I keep these podcast ones for the voiceover, but um, I do actually listen to podcasts, like one podcast. <laughs> So this sheet only had podcast icons left, so I just put that to put in my activities um, section. Since I no longer had the real filming ability anymore, like sticker. And then I'm just getting rid of some really old stuff. <laughs> it just doesn't work anymore. But yeah, it's nice to clean out sometimes. I don't, I don't know. I don't, you can see that I don't take too long to deliberate. It's just, it's gone. <laughs> So now we're doing shopping. I think I keep my shopping all together. It's like groceries and normal shopping. But I don't see a huge point in switching them up, separating them. I have room to separate them, but I am keeping all of this tasseled planner stuff because she did close her shop, but... And I know some people on the uh, videos would prefer to use stuff that people can buy, but... I don't know, I, just, I bought them and I want to use them up, and they were foils, so they were expensive. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm keeping a lot of them because I think they're really cute. I also have these, um, like, glasses ones in shopping because I only really use glasses icons for when I'm buying glasses. <laughs> um, so I keep them in shopping. I have all sorts of shopping here. I finally de some of this $2 Tuesday deco from Scribble Prince Co. I did draw it, so that's why I was holding on to it. But I just never use them, so out they go. <laughs> so that was shopping. 
So what are we doing here? I did, um, so, okay, I originally had one home section, home, it was like anything to do with the house or home or cozy as well as cleaning. So I decided just to split them up and I think here I actually grabbed more than home. I don't know. There's a part where near, near the end of this video where I have like my health and beauty um, stuff, so I also separate that into, um, relax, health, and beauty, because in health, I also had napping, and I was like, that could just be in relax, so just was splitting up my sections here to make it a bit more manageable, uh, but yeah, cleaning, I do a fair bit of cleaning these days, actually, I've been watching a lot of, um, clean with me's, uh, if you don't know the YouTube channel, Alexandra Buta, I think it is. Buta. Alexandra, she's got like her baby forest. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying her videos for a while now. And um, she does a lot of clean with me, and it really motivates me to clean, especially the kitchen. I just love getting in the kitchen and cleaning it. <laughs> um, so we're getting up to the end of this part one. So if you like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and head over to part two. It is on the channel. Um, so don't forget to check it out. I'll link it in the description box after they're both live so you can get right on to chat number two. But you can do that later if you want. That's why I split them up so it's a bit easier for you guys to watch. I mean, I love one hour hauls, but I feel like these kind of videos, they can be split up. Um... But yes, I'm just putting everything aside, and now we're going to get splitting up my home and health. Um, kind of my health stuff, so into relaxation and actual doctory things. So, yeah, I'm just getting rid of any extras. Sometimes the colors don't work anymore. One, I accidentally put a massage one. Yeah, this Celeste. I actually wanted to destash it, but I put it into... And otherwise, it should have been in health and not relaxed. But I'm going to, after this, go and deal with that. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. We'll, it'll just be running right on from this one. So you can jump right in. But otherwise, if you watch it later, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.